What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to another Sun and Moon anime review with a fresh haircut, as promised. Um, today we're going over episode number 82. Now, we talked in the last episode about how we've been away for about two months and we're going to try and get caught up and that's why so many of these are going to be coming out hopefully over the next two weeks so you we can be caught up with it before things drastically change. I want to try and get caught up so this can go consistently. But last time, Ash and Company went to go watch the Mask Royale defend his title at the Battle Royale Dome. Um, an evil team named the Revengers, who played dirty, resulted in Ash having to join the battle with the Mask Royale, our good friend, not Kukui, who actually revealed himself to be Kukui to the audience, not to anyone in the actual world itself. But the Double Masks, as they call themselves, battle against the Revengers team of Magmortar and Electivite. With a combination of Torakat's newly learned Revenge and Incineroar's Z-Move, they defeat all of the Revengers. I wonder where that name come, came from. We didn't talk about this in the last episode, but I know where that, that name came from. Everyone knows where that name came from. Anyway, Ash and the Mass Royale agreed to have a one-on-one -on -one battle in the future so Ash can try to get revenge for when uh, Litten originally evolved into Torakat, and I'm sure that'll be how Torakat winds up evolving to Incineroar. Dance, dance de Shinka, Shinka. Now, this episode started off in the Pokemon School, and Kukui tells them they're going to be learning about Pokey Dance. Now, if you've watched the episodes, you know they do this thing. Um, it's like a pokey problem and it's like they have four little pains and it's which one is going to be the focus of the episode and one of the, and this one is like what are we going to be focusing on in today's episode or what new thing are, are, is the group going to learn about find out in the second half and then it literally flashes to the screen and Kukui goes today we're going to be doing pokey dance is that how it works is that how I should do who's that Pokemon in all of our let's plays anyway the class is going to choreograph a dance with their Pokemon. The intro runs right there. It's a very simple intro. This episode is titled, Won't You Give Us a Dance Dance Evolution? Now, apparently I have not been paying attention more than I thought because I had no idea that there was potentially going to be an evolution in this episode. Was there? Well, based on the thumbnail, I guess you already know. But let's get to it. Team Rocket is selling their very successful donuts. They're talking about how... They're making a lot of money and they're selling a whole lot of donuts. Headquarters would be proud, which I doubt that. If you called headquarters and told them you were selling donuts and making money, they would probably ask, why aren't you getting Pokemon? But anyway, Jessie wants to expand their marketing to include some singing and dancing and she starts doing so. Um, Mallow Steeny runs past their shop and of course they put their hat down so they can't see him and Steeny runs up to the lady that we had seen in the past giving Litten food and it turns out this is actually an important character. Her name is Miss Milani. We will call her Miss Milani from now on but she goes on to explain the Alola Bula to Mallow who tells her that they're going to be doing a dance, they're going to be choreographing a dance, and she says, you should try the Alola Hula. And she sends out her Oricorio. Now, the Oricorio that's being used is the Oricorio that we had um, when we competed in the, uh, when we competed in the Major League Pack Battle. Uh, it is the Pau style, the pa, the Pau style, the Pau style. Um, it's the, the psychic one. Anyway, it's the psychic one, right? So we see, we see it's Oricorio dancing. We also had this Oricorio in our Ultra Moon playthrough. I totally forgot about that Oricorio. Frisco, our Oricorio. Um, but Jesse, who is watching off to the side, is like, I want that Pokemon. No, really, look, look at her face. She's literally like in the camera saying, I want that Pokemon. She wants to get this Oricorio. And Mallow suggests to Steeny, maybe we should do the Alola Hula in the competition. Steeny seems very into it. You know, she's got her little, her little petals that are around her. You know, it could be like a little bit of a, um, a tutu almost. Um, yeah, we saw, you know, last episode we saw the Magmortar use Faint Attack. And it was like a little ballerina tiptoeing up to eventually attack Torcat. Now we see this. This is like all about dance. But back at the school, all of the kids are practicing. They're practicing for the competition. And of course, they all have their usual unique style. We've seen them. We've come to know all of these guys. Uh, you know, Kiawe's off setting himself on fire. 
Lily's doing her thing. Lana is doing her thing. Uh, Sophocles is on his computer. We've seen it. We've seen all of this stuff. And per usual, Ash fails his dance by having his Pokemon all stack on top of each other, and then they fall. And Kukui's like, what kind of dance is that? Well, are you gonna dance? And Ash goes, wasn't that a dance? So he's failing, and Mallow seems to be the only one that knows what's going on. She's got the Alola Hula that Steenie's just obsessed. I mean, at home that night, we see Mallow like washing dishes, and Steenie's not even helping. Steenie usually helps, but Steenie's behind just doing some Alola Hula. Now, it flashes over to the, the event venue where the dance competition is going to take place, and we see Team Rocket run out, and they're like, well, that went well. And they're, they're, they're plotting. They apparently did something. What did they do? We'll find out in just a minute. The following day, all the kids gather at the venue, and it starts off with a demonstration from the Pokey Dance master, Miss Moani and her Oracorio. Apparently, like I said, these characters that we met, I mean, literally episodes ago, at the very beginning of, of the Sun and Moon anime, um, are like the Pokey Dance masters. I like that they became relevant. So they're dancing. And it actually turns out this is a private competition just for this class. Um, Lily winds up going first in the competition and does a figure skating routine with her uh, Alolan Vulpix. You could have guessed that was going to happen, but Vulpix does her thing, slides around. Lana goes next, and her sisters are joining in. Poplio makes two bubbles where they both are, are sitting in, and Poplio bounces on the bubbles. Kiawe goes next. Sets, sets himself on fire doing a well of volcano routine uh, with some spinning fire because of course he's gonna get caught you know he's gonna go too far and <sighs> Sophocles charge bug actually this was pretty cool Sophocles charge bug actually came out like a little car and transformed into a robot and then Toga tomorrow jumped in to make the head and it was this high-tech robot and Kiawe goes okay so what's the dance gonna be and Sophocles is like well I didn't get that far. Of course. Um, and then Ash goes. Ash a As Ash gets started, which, why was Mallow going last? Like, of course, just convenient. Anyway, um, as Ash goes, the lights shut off, and um, two little spotlights shine down. One with the Pokemon symbol and one with the, the trainer symbol, and has them both go, like, has, has the people separate. And the kids are thinking, you know, maybe this is all, maybe this is another special guest. So they all separate and it turns out it's Team Rocket. And Team Rocket comes down doing this little dancing routine. Uh, and they come down and, oh my gosh, it's Team Rocket. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, but this one was kind of weird because all the, the kids were trapped in their cage and the Pokemon were trapped in their cage. But Steenie, who was off to the side, just doing her little Alola Hula, not paying attention to anything, is the only one that didn't notice. But of course, after noticing, runs over and starts hitting on the, hitting on the cages. And Meowth is like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna save them, and captures them, captures Steenie with another little net. And for some reason, Meowth goes, and I would never tell you that the top part of the cage is where it's at its weak point. What? Is it? The anime has been out for 20 years and Meowth literally just like hit the reset button and went back to day one. Like, why did he tell them that? So Steenie climbs up on top of the cage and starts pounding on it. And Meowth is like, oh, I'm not going to let you and climbs up the cage. How high have we seen Meowth jump in the path? All this stuff was just very, very convenient. Now, it did get pretty cool. So Steenie goes and is is stomping on the cage, and actually Kiawe or Kukui is like, oh my gosh, it looks like Steenie is using Stomp. And then Steenie glows and evolves into Serena. I didn't know Mallow Steenie evolved into Serena. Usually I would see like on on the website or something that Mallow got a, an evolved character. I I didn't see it at all. So. <laughs> Obviously, Serena comes out, and Serena's acting very Serena-ish. Stomping on Pokemon, kicking Pokemon. I mean, it looked cool, but... The writers of the anime have to be aware of 
the way people are on the internet and the things that some people say on the internet, hence the title of this video, I'm sorry. It was just too fitting. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't not. Now, after they get, after they get uh, freed from the cage, uh, Ash goes to attack Team Rocket, but Beware comes out as if he's going to perform, grabs them, takes them all away. Obviously, Malu is awarded the win. Everyone celebrates the evolution. And then Rowlet comes and catches scent of Serena. And as he flies towards, gets smacked up in the air and then kicked down towards Ash in a very strong move. And that was the episode. Like I said, I wasn't expecting there to be an evolution, so at least something happened, but I didn't realize how out of tune with the anime I really have been. Um, we're not going to look forward to the next episode because I might be doing that next episode later today, and it should potentially be out either tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday, or it's going to come out very soon because we're trying to get caught up. But anyway, if you enjoyed our anime review, hit the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment down below of what you thought of this episode. We'll see you next time. Until then, have a blessed day.